to Uduk, the adventure continues. So I want to take a walk around this neighborhood, maybe see some things that I haven't seen before. First, I want to get a smoothie at my favorite smoothie place in this area. So we'll go get that. I'm thinking of banana, maybe strawberry banana. It sounds pretty tasty right now. But as you can see here, to Uduk right now, it's uh, 5.35 p.m. Pretty heavy traffic. This, it's becoming more and more of a populated area. As the rental prices in Saigon become a little bit more expensive, people are moving out to the periphery of Saigon to this sort of like northern district here, District 9, Gaobap. Just kind of the outer periphery districts because living in the center, District 1, District 3, the rental prices are just pretty high right now. So you see a lot more people than usual. I, I don't. I don't want. I don't know if I want to say that this is an unusual amount of people, but I feel like more people have moved out here since since I moved out here, which would have been back in 2017. Yeah, let's keep our, our head on a swivel here for the street crossings. And then we'll just wait for the green light up there. necessarily mean that we can keep our head off that swivel though we got to be kind of careful all right here we go here's my Sinto lady hello hello oh chachi uh mo Sinto uh uh yo chui okay so we got a strawberry banana smoothie. She's gonna come make it, hello. Or he's gonna come make it maybe. He's got a big old bag of ice. Shaved ice. Hello, Carl. Hello. Mo Sinto Yo Chewy? Yo Chewy Umra. So yeah, strawberry banana smoothie. Get that in us. And then I was thinking maybe just go explore like some of these inner streets of Thuduk that I normally wouldn't ever explore. That I normally don't have any reason to, to explore. So, I don't know. We'll see if that provides any sort of adventure or at least some interesting things to see in this neighborhood. Over there, she's selling some dried squid. Looks like a uh, hope it loan. Hope it loan. We're not going to eat any of that right now. That's the uh, unfertilized egg or whatever it is. There's a smoothie being made. The, the ASM, ASMR smoothie sounds. different things I'm not sure if on the film this will show up as a weird bright light thing it might if it does I apologize but here's all the choices for what you can get 
Sinto, smoothie, nougat, juice. How new though? Hai mười. Twenty thousand Vietnam dong. Xin lỗi, không có tiền lẻ. I only have a five hundred thousand note. That's not the best etiquette when you're paying for something that's only twenty thousand. But it is what it is. Ah, come on, go. Come on, Neil. Bye bye. Okay, so we got it. She gave us the appropriate change. I hate to like take all her change bank like that, but <laughs> I didn't have a choice. Locked and loaded. Strawberry banana. Good, sweet, fruity, icy. 8.6, very dank. So let's see what adventures can we find in this area of Tu Duk. He's got a Hu Tiu. Little cart over there. Yeah. Ooh, that would have been good. All right. Next time we're here, we'll try some of that meat wang. That looks pretty good. Try that next time. It's almost like a reconnaissance video like a scouting, seeing what kind of places we can find for potential other videos, other vlogs. Very residential looking alley that way. Little supermarket. Haircut place. Some uh, Bun Rio Bun Ba Hu Tiu. <laughs> fish. Yeah. There's cool things in this area. Ooh, some bun sale. Hello. Everyone out here, they look really friendly. Everyone's got a smile on their face. A little uh, hut towel. 45,000. Not a bad price. And we keep going into the depths of Tuduk. Maybe we can explore one of these alleys. This kind of all looks like alleys. Looks like multiple alleys. Three alley crossing. Let's be careful. Some nice relaxing looking cafes here.
finished with that smoothie already. That was good. That was refreshing. When you see little things like this, these are like trash cans. So you can dispose of your trash there. Little neighborhoodly badminton going on. Ciao. Hello. Hello. I'd go for a little badminton, but I'd probably get my butt kicked. <laughs> I'm not really I'm not good at badminton now. I played tennis growing up. Maybe that would translate a bit. Looks like we're getting to the end of an alley here. Not much more to this area. But we do have like a, I don't know, restaurant? Yeah, let's go back. Let's walk back this way. But it feels very, you know, it's like much more rural, which kind of makes sense, you know, being on the outside of the city or on the edge of the city, that it would be more rural. But it's, it's interesting to see me living in District 1, coming out to districts like this. It's just definitely a different feel. The cafe culture in Vietnam. It's a very popular thing to just like sit and hang out at a cafe, have a drink. I guess that's popular in America as well. But it's a very popular thing here to do and you'll see a lot of people on their phones like playing games and stuff like that. Sometimes you'll also see people playing like Chinese checkers or other games like that. Maybe a little money thrown around here and there. I don't know, I didn't see anything. doing mechanical things the banseo looks pretty decent so we'll try that banseo sometime and then we'll also we'll come over and we'll try I mean we got a lot of a lot of different options try that bone rio Try that bain sale. I just ate. I just had that bain can. So I'm full right now, but the next time I come over, try out some of these places. Getting kind of back to where we started. I want to try out that meat wang as well. That looks like it could be good. Could be. Could be good. Let's let's ask. Let's ask. Hello. Uh, mấy uh, uh, mở cửa và đóng cửa. Uh, 8 giờ, 8 giờ sáng, 8 giờ tối. Sau giờ sáng then 
Mẹ giờ đóng đóng cửa. Tám giờ tối. Ta, tối. Ok, so sao giờ đến tám giờ. Ok, so six in the morning to eight at night. À, cảm ơn nha. So we'll come here uh, next time we're here. Get some of that mi quang. That'll be good. Don't get, don't get killed. Don't get killed when crossing the streets in Vietnam. I don't know what he's selling. But I'm liking the little walk. I like the, the exploratory walks like this. I don't know. I mean, it seems like when I make the food videos, those get a lot of views. But to me, these videos are fun too. The videos where I just kind of walk around and see what, what I can see. on a swivel all right I don't know what these big old logs are doing here uncut logs oh, okay well they're obviously renovating or building a new restaurant let's get a, a bottle of water more chai nước suối how new? Come on. Five thousand. Five thousand for the bottle of water. That's twenty cents. More juice and smoothie. And then this will take us to like another major street in Tuduk that also has like the uh, Cha Tuduk, the Tuduk market. But uh, yeah, what? Let's let's walk down there. Why not? That, I think, is some sort of international store. doesn't seem to be selling anything but he's got the the recorder going I don't know why Sizzling, sizzling beef. That seems to be a, a popular food item out here. So I think this whole time we've stayed in this uh, Lin Chu ward of Tuduk.
Tamge. Chicken rice. Oh, uh, oh, hello, hello, ciao, chu, chu, oh, the snail, snail uncle. He's got the, yeah, the snails there. That could be good for a little late night snack. Hakao, uh, dumplings, dim sum, and those little, baskets it's useful to know a little bit of the food vocabulary because then even though you might not see what the food looks like you know what they're selling lots of commerce though A lot of commerce. Some fried foods. A billiard store. Hello. Hey, you got some rye tie going there. Some ear cleaning. Yeah, this is like a pretty full on tour of two ducks. The only other thing that I would think to show you in Tuduk would be like the Cha Tuduk, which is the market here. But I don't I really have time to show you that tonight. But I'd say I'd say we've done pretty well in terms of showing you what you have here in Tuduk. Bochin. Bochin's good. Pochin's a good Vietnamese snack. It's like fried flour, basically. It's just delicious. Not the, not the healthiest thing in the world, but definitely delicious. I like the look of this, ca this cafe. Kind of no. It's almost like this was a converted used to be something else like a market but now it's converted just into a bunch of food stalls and we're finally coming up on that second major street which I forgot the name of but we will find out the name of it Hopefully, if they have a street sign. Ah, the Mi Bit theme. The Chinese duck noodles. A little picture of the duck up there. Happy duck. Fairly residential looking alley. You know me and my alley instincts. I see an alley, I gotta explore the alley. Ah, uh, here we go. Coming up on it. Big old Vincom Plaza. Vincom Plaza is a big like shopping mall. So in there, I would imagine they've got, looks like California Fitness I saw on the side there, which is like a big gym. They probably have a movie theater in there. Probably got a movie theater in there. Looks like they have a bowling alley. That's kind of cool. Get a few games of bowling in. Just mess around and throw a 300 on you. Get that on film. All right, what's the name of this street? That's my mission now is to find out what the name is. Ah, there we go. There we go. 
So it's a ball, ball wang nun. Or maybe they would pronounce it ya yang nun. Right there. Ya yang nun. Street. Here in Thuda. And yeah, this this keeps going down to more Tudukian places. But we're gonna call it quits for now. That was a good tour, I would say, of like half of Tuduk. So, anyways, guys, hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, click the like button, subscribe to the channel to support the growth, and leave any comments you have. I'm really happy to hear from you all. And if you have any suggestions of videos that you'd like to see, I'm always, what was that? <laughs> Something hit my head. If you have any suggestions of videos you'd like to see, I'm always receptive to those as well. So hit up the comment section. But yeah, anyways, guys, hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.